Hello everyone, my name is Mark and welcome to an Abatina Cookery recipe video. Today I'm going to show you how to make risotto with funghi porcini. Now, risotto is a staple of Italian cookery, great in autumn and winter, it's thick, creamy, warm and hearty, and we're going to be pairing it with our favourite mushrooms, funghi porcini. Let's look at how to make it. In order to make risotto, you must use a short grain rice. Short grain rices release more starch and you end up with a creamier consistency. We're using riso carnaroli, which is an example of a short grain rice, but you can also use riso arborio or riso roma. However, if you cannot find these names in the supermarket, then a risotto rice will work fine. For this risotto, we're going to be using funghi porcini. In this bowl, we actually have two varieties of porcini. We have the more commonly found Boletus edulis. This is the one you can find throughout Europe, including Northern Europe. And this is the less common variety, Boletus aereus. This is found in Italy. It's found in Spain, Portugal, Greece, Bulgaria, if I'm not mistaken. Generally, the Mediterranean area is where you'll find them. Let's start cooking them. We first need to cook our mushrooms. I have some garlic here, sizzling in olive oil, and it's just about ready to put the mushrooms in. I don't need to defrost them, as I've mentioned. Once the oil and the garlic is ready, I just put them in. Add some salt. Stir it. And cover. The porcini are ready. I'm now going to remove them and put them in a bowl. We're going to use the pan we used to cook the mushrooms to cook our risotto. Let's start with onions. A knob of butter and some heat. Once the water has reduced a bit, continue cooking the onions with the lid off to allow the onions to caramelize. This is an essential part of any risotto. The onions are ready. I'm now going to deglaze the pan with some dry frascati white wine. Use the wine to remove all the crusty parts and let it evaporate. This is another essential component of making the perfect risotto. The wine has been reduced and evaporated. We now need to start cooking the rice. So let's put it in. Remember, this is carnaroli rice. We need to let the rice toast. This will bring out more flavor and more flavor is good. The rice has been toasted. You can see that it's become, it's a bit darker at the bottom. We're starting to see some brown spots. This will help bring out flavor. You'll also notice that the rice has some slightly transparent spots. This is our cue to add hot water. Now, normally this is when you would add a stock. Um, we have a stock, we have some homemade stock cubes. This is a vegetable stock. And so we're going to add water first 
and then the stock cubes. But if you have your own stock, then add stock instead of just boiling water. We add a little bit of water at a time. As the water reduces, we keep adding water. You need to keep the water hot, otherwise it will take longer to cook. Once the first batch of water has reduced, we need to add more. I'm also going to use this opportunity to add our stock cubes. So I have three here, but you may need to use one. Remember, these are homemade, so the strength and flavors will vary. Just mix these in and repeat the process of adding water, letting it reduce, adding water, letting it reduce until the rice becomes softer. I've added more water, let it reduce, added more water and let it reduce. And I've continued until it's almost ready. And now we need to add the mushrooms. We just want to cook it a bit longer. I'm going to add a bit more water and then it will be just about ready to serve. I've turned the heat off and once this cools down just a bit, I'm going to add some parmigiano reggiano and some parsley. I've tasted it for salt. The rice also tastes like the mushrooms, which is very important. And now I'm going to add the parmigiano reggiano. At this stage, you can also add pepper if you want. You can see here it's become even creamier as the cheese melts. And lastly, our parsley, prezzemolo. This risotto is ready to serve. And the risotto is ready. I really can't wait to eat it. Actually, I'm not going to wait. Mm. You can really taste the wonderful umami flavor of the porcini mushrooms and the, the, the sweetness that the onions add, the flavor of the carnaroli rice, really all of it combines to a creamy, hearty, delicious goodness. So don't wait. Make this for yourself, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed making it, and of course, eating it. If you've liked this video, please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Once again, my name is Mark, and I hope you have a wonderful day.